Hey guys, Mason here. Welcome back to The Sweet Spot, where I create delicious desserts that you guys can follow along with at home. As always, the full written recipe and list of ingredients, they're down below in the description box. Also, while you're down there, if you want to join the family, just click that subscribe button and you'll get two new videos every week. Today, we're going to be making biscotti. If you're anything like me, you're a coffee lover. I like any kind of coffee. Hot coffee, cold coffee, black coffee, sweetened coffee, Vietnamese coffee, all coffee. Love coffee. And these cookies are perfect to dip in any kind of hot coffee. Now, they have a crunchy hard exterior and that's because they're perfect to dip in coffee soak up all that delicious goodness. Now if you all want my recipe for a classic Italian cookie, stick around and we'll get started. This could seriously not be any easier, you guys. In a large bowl, we're just gonna mix all of our ingredients. Six tablespoons of unsalted butter that's been melted and is at room temperature. One cup of granulated sugar. Two tablespoons of Kahlua liqueur or coffee liqueur. One teaspoon of almond extract. Three large eggs at room temperature. Just mix everything until it's nice and combined. Then we're going to add all of our dry ingredients. That's two and a half cups of all purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt and one cup of currants now i know this is really popular in the uk they're not so popular in the united states but they're like tiny little raisins you guys they're so good now we're going to cover this and place this in the refrigerator to chill for 15 to 20 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, once we pull that out of the fridge, we're just going to flour our surface and roll our dough out onto it. We're gonna need this just a little bit just to make sure everything's completely incorporated and workable. And we're going to form this into a disc and then cut that in half. Now this will make two loaves that we're going to cut down later on, you'll see. Now you want to form each of these halves into a log. Now we're gonna go ahead and place these on our parchment lined baking tray and put these in the oven for 30 minutes. Once they come out, they look like this. Now this is the first bake. And in Italian, biscotti means twice baked. So we're going to bake these again after we cut them down into our biscotti cookies. Now, depending on your preference, you can cut these thinner or thicker. I like them thinner, so they get a nice, crispy, crunchy outside. Now, after we cut them, we're going to lay them cut side down back onto our pan and put those back in the oven again for 20 to 25 minutes total. Halfway through the baking, we're going to pull them out and flip our cookies over.
And this is what they look like on their final bake, you guys. Look how delicious. They turn a darker color, a deeper color. They're so good. And the longer you let these sit, the more crunchy that they'll get. I really hope you guys try these. They're perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. From my home to yours, enjoy.